can see these are little youngsters from last year. Can you come down? Believe it or not, this little guy with the red collar and the yellow tape on it right here is the head male. Oh, he's the alpha male. Yes. And Mr. Alpha I don't know, Male. It's just a hoot because he's like half the size of the girl. He's like half the size of all of them. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> he's out of another group, and he kept being on the periphery of this group when there was another male that was the head who uh, unfortunately passed away, but. Um, and he just kept hanging in, you know, with people chasing him and all, with the others chasing him until finally. They have colored collars, and they also have, the adults have um, radio collars, radio transmitters with a certain frequency. And that way, so if that they way leave the group, we can track them in groups. So they pretty much, they do have the room of the, the area that they're in, then, the lemurs. Oh, yeah. 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 And that's, you know, how... Um, problems depending on the time of year. The females only go into estrus once a year in the fall and so um, you know it's each man for himself. Normally there's <laughs> one dominant male that will mate with the majority of the, the females. The females. Um, and this another cool thing about lemurs is they are a matriarchal society thing. But here what we do is they aren't really cold hardy for the most part and as you know, we don't get that much, much cold, cold weather. Right. But each free-ranging group, in our case three groups, has uh, an enclosed site that has heat um, that if it's going to be below 25 degrees, we will catch them up, the entire group, and just lock them in the site. Because that's, you know, we have to be responsible and make sure, you know, there's no frostbitten right. tables no frost or fingers or that kind of thing. So. Um, you know, we do interfere in that way. Then also if there's injuries and that kind of thing. Right. But for the um, most part, this For the is most part, their social behavior is what it would be, yeah. They're, uh... Wait, so they be in front lines? Yes. <laughs> and that, yeah, to deter, you know, bug problems. Bugs, ticks. Yeah, and so if ticks. you can imagine, ticks out here, just like everywhere else in this area, pretty wild. So, um... So yeah. that once a year you round them all up, give them round their annual the guys, physical... And also that gives us a chance to actually sex the little, um, the babies, the babies. That were born this year. And then any um, of the individuals that are now adults, which is about two years before they're fully, fully grown, um, then they get radio collars and are identified according to, you know, what I was showing you. That way for researchers, too, that come out here, um, they can tell, oh, yeah, the red collar is awesome. Right. So-and-so, yeah.